Alright, so what's up, this is Jetspeed, and welcome to a video that I've wanted to do since June. Um, as you can see, this is a Pride Month post on the Angry Birds YouTube channel. Um, and I, I just kind of wanted to go through these, because I, I don't want to sound like an offensive piece of garbage, but a couple of these were fine. A, a, couple, Pride Month, a, a couple of these Pride Month posts were okay. But there was there was one that really just kind of pissed me off, and then especially because everything on the Angry Birds YouTube channel, not Angry Birds Gaming, Angry Birds, the official Angry Birds YouTube channel, is directed towards children. So I just kind of wanted to go through these and just kind of give my thoughts on them. Um, and yeah, let's just let's just look through them. So this this one says, in case you can't read, no, I'm kidding. Um, I'll, I'll read it anyway. Happy Pride Month, birds of any feather, we belong together. Belonging isn't about fitting in; it's about being accepted as who you are, no matter your flag. Welcome to the flock. This one's fine. This should have been the only Pride Month post. It has red. It has a Pride flag. And yeah, simplistic. Fine. That's all they should have had. That's that's all they needed. This is the quintessential. We're doing pride because we don't want to get canceled. Post, um, but the rest of these just really kind of. This one's. I, I have no idea what flag that even is. Um, it says we're all unique and special, and that includes our gender. No matter who you are, you belong here with us. Now, what this means, I have no clue. Um, may as well look at the comments, because I never actually did, so maybe they'll tell us what the hell this flag means. Oh, God. So, well, for, for one, a lot of the fans don't like it either, but as, as you can see, um, yeah, they don't like it. Um, I'm going to scroll all the way back down. But, but yeah, I, I don't know a flag that actually means. I'm thinking I search it up just out of curiosity. Keep in mind, I'm not going to edit this video, so it's just going to be flat out. Just, just me giving my thoughts, no editing, because no editing is really necessary. So, we're going to have this on the screen. Uh, no, not that one. We're, we'll get to that one. Okay, so this one has pink, white, purple, black, and blue. So, I'm going to search up what that means because I genuinely don't know. I really don't care, but I just want to, um, you know. So, what? That's such a weird order, too. Gender fluid. Okay, that makes sense. So what, if you just feel like a guy one day, and then you feel like a girl another day? Yeah, it, that, that's, that's, that's what that means. Don't worry, I was educated on this stuff. I just wasn't educated on the flags, because I really couldn't be asked to give a shit. Um, but yeah, um... What, 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 what do you want me to say about this? This is directed towards children. Again, the first Pride post was okay. I don't mind that. But after that, it just gets worse and worse. And just worse. Um, and I think... Do you really need your 7-year-old who watches the Angry Birds YouTube channel to know what gender fluid means? Do you really think they care? And if they do end up caring, it's because you pushed that ideology onto them. It's that simple. So then the next one um, says, Our colorful flock is worth fighting for. Friends and allies know that every bird is be beautiful and loved. So this is the ally flag, which basically just means you're straight, but you support the LGBTQ plus whatever, how many more letters community. Um, which, this one's fine but come on tell me chuck isn't gay no i'm kidding um 
but yeah, this one's this one's also fine. Not as bad as the other one. Um, not as bad as the gender fluid one. But again, not necessary. It's it's really not that necessary in my opinion. That's, that's all I really have to say about this one. Um, so next is this one is Willow. Um, not everyone loves romantically, and that's totally fine. They can still share lots of love and friendships and other relationships. Remember, everyone is unique and special. Stuff. Uh, let's all be friends, support each other with love and kindness. Yeah. So this flag, I believe, is just means you hate everybody. No, I'm kidding. I actually don't know. Um, I saw this flag like once. Uh, let me check. A, a romantic, a a romantic. It just means you hate everybody. It it just yeah. So the light green represents a romanticism as a spectrum. The white represents platonic aesthetic and queer platonic relationships. What the fuck does queer platonic mean? What the fuck does that even mean? The gray represents demi romantic people. What? What? What the hell does that mean? And then the black represents the sexuality spectrum. How does black represent sexuality? Huh? No, what the hell does demi-romantic mean? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. This, this one is just... What? I, I don't see why they... Uh, I, I don't know. Why? Why? And why Willow? Why Willow? Why did you do this to Willow? Like, come on. It's the first time we see Willow in her, mo in her movie design since the fucking Angry Birds movie 1. I don't think we've seen her at all in the second Angry Birds movie. And this is what we get. That's delightful. That's absolutely fantastic. Let's see what the comments think, because I... We all we all share the same. The fact that Willow's attracted. Oh yeah, no right. She was in the second movie when Bomb is talking about eating dirt. I forgot about that. I eat dirt, and then he just you know. The fact that Willow is attracted to Bomb maybe that she dislikes him in a non-romantic way, such as aesthetic, platonic, or intellectual. What? What the, what the hell? Ain't <laughs> no the way they brought back Willow from the depths of the old game archives. Yeah. And everyone's saying she likes Bomb and Angry Birds too, the, the movie, when he's talking about the dirt. She, she's just like, yeah, keep talking. I want to eat some dirt with you. Like, you know, it's... <laughs> they brought back Willow for Pride. Yeah. Uh, it's it's either about what, Wow Willow's back, but and, and either that or it's just like... <laughs> I can't believe my bird crush now ended up like this. It's a zombie. That's funny. I like that one. Oh, goodness. But, yeah. I Again, simply not necessary. And sure, people are happy to see Willow back for once, but under th those circumstances, you know. Oh, we'll get to the one with Tony. I believe we have two more. This one is lesbian, I think. Celebrating love and diversity. Celebrate because every bird belongs in a colorful flock. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a lesbian flag. I'm pretty sure Stella's not a lesbian, but sure. Actually, no, right. I remember the Agri Birds trailer. Agri Birds. Yep. From, uh, you know, the April Fool's prank that they did back in, like, I forgot what year it was. Um, I believe it was 2015 or something like that. Yup, see? See? Because what happened in Agri Birds, um, Stella's a lesbian and falls in love with Gail. It was really funny. Um, yeah. I, I don't I don't think I need to search that one up. Yup, Gail Stella's crush. It was an April Fool's. Yup. So, the last one is where it really crosses the line here. This one is the worst one. 
because after that there, there's no more but this one is easily the worst one um it says tony is here to celebrate pride month with Bella's friends how do you show your unique style the possibilities are endless we'll always stick together now i unfortunately had to find out what this flag is because i searched it up it's a flag for what's called bears they're just really fat big and hairy men why? Big, fat, hairy men. In pride. What the fuck? That's not pride. That's bullshit. And that's that's what I thought when I saw that. Um. And and keep in mind, this YouTube channel. Everything on it is directed towards children. I'm a huge fan of Angry Birds. Don't get me wrong. But this just. Ugh. I don't think we need children knowing about big, fat, hairy men. Okay? I, I said it. It's fucked up. And I, I think... I think I remember t commenting something on this. I forgot what I said, but I'll try and find it. If, if it pops up. I don't... I don't Oh, yeah, right, no, I now remember. I made a community post, um, way back when. Um, can I open my channel page, please? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I remember making a community post about it. Um, and I'm gonna read that for you, because... This just crosses a line that just had no reason to be crossed in the first place. It's, there was just no need for it. Um, here it is. What the hell? Is Rovio okay? Apparently the flag in the background is the flag for bears. Or really big and hairy men. Two things. A. Why is that part of LGBTQ culture? And B. Why is Rovio posting this on a YouTube channel directed towards children? Do children really need to know about big hairy men being put under the same blanket as people attracted to the same sex? That's that's what I said. I I 100% stand by that. I think the fact that Rovio thought that was a good idea to post to direct it towards children as well is one of the most fucked up things I've seen from Angry Birds ever. Um right next to the um you know of course the classic game purge of 2019. Don't even get me started on that again. But this just crosses so many lines that I think never needed to be crossed in the first place. First of all, this is Tony's first ever um, appearance in a movie design. And it's wasted on this. And, and it's just... It's terrible. And I... I let, let's see what the comments think. Bro didn't get revived for this. Look what they mad! Look how they massacred my bird. Oh, uh, not him. You know the possibilities joke doesn't even work since birds don't have paws. That's f very f fair. Uh, yeah, I wholeheartedly agree with that. Yeah, it's just, it's. Uh, the weeb. <laughs> <laughs> the rapist bird. Oh, uh, that's... Yeah. Uh, honestly, I could definitely see that. Because of this. Um, uh, it's just so messed up. About to construct the world's deadliest way. Yeah, because no, nobody likes this. Everybody hates this. And it's just... I, I, I just think that that whole Pride Month thing that Rovia did was just absolutely terrible. Now, the question is, why did I wait this long to post this? I th honestly, I don't know. I, I wanted to make this video for months, but I never got around to it. But now, I have. Um, and I think that um, I'm trying to find a way to word this I think Pride Month in general has gone a little 
too far. Is there anything that gay people, you know, is there anything that anyone part of the LGBTQ plus community can do? Or, yeah, just in general that we straight white men can't do? And uh, is there anything that they can't do that we can? Because I, I, I don't think so. You have everything. You have everything you want. And th with the way you're going, the only thing you want to get rid of now is a stigma. But the way you're going about it, shoving your ideology down everybody's throat, that's not going to get rid of that stigma. In fact, it's only going to make it worse for the people that are against it. <clears throat> I don't mind you being gay or whatever. I don't mind you being trans. I don't care. You can be whatever you want as long as you don't shove it down everybody's throat. Especially children. When, when you try and force it upon children, that's where it really crosses a line with me. Because then that child ends up just becoming nothing but confused later on in their life. And I don't get... I, I've seen some terrible parents with that kind of thing. Um, they'll, they'll, they tell their kid at the age of four, oh, you can do, you can be whatever you want to be. You, are, are you a girl or a boy? Like, that's an obvious question. She's clearly a girl and he's clearly a boy. They're four years old. They're not old or even smart enough or responsible enough to make that decision for themselves and yet they they force that on them at the age of four and then their child ends up becoming non-binary at four years old sorry there was a gnat they're everywhere oh my god die i missed ow but yeah if you force this kind of thing upon children and you tell them that you can that you can be whatever you want to be, and you can make whatever choices you want to make. Then they're going to make the wrong choices. You need to educate them instead of just telling them that, that it that it exists. Don't educate them without a reason to, okay? Don't just tell them that you can be whatever you want, and then just f flood them with information that they're not going to really find that useful besides to make their lives worse. If they find out by themselves, and they have no idea what it means, then fine. Go ahead. Teach them. But just forcing that upon them, and, and them just not being able to make a choice, a responsible one, will just make their, will make their lives worse, and it'll make your life worse as a parent. Because then you end up realizing, oh, I taught my child to do whatever they want, and so they're gonna... I was too soft on them, basically. I was too soft on my child, and now my child will not listen to me. They will rebel at the age of eight. You, you kind of just need to... You need to... Ro Rovio needs to do better, honestly. Because this this is terrible, and, and and let me say, my parents, that they're, they're like, they told both me and my sister, you can be whatever, you can, you can be gay, you can be straight, whatever. We'll still love you. We'll still support you as long as you don't commit murder or do or do drugs. Then we'll love you forever and we'll support you, right? That's fine. You you're giving me the choice. But you're not forcing that ideology down my throat. In fact, I you're not forcing any ideology down my throat. Because you 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 didn't. That's it's that simple. You didn't. And I've made the choice to be straight and what they call cisgender. That just means I don't have gender dysphoria. That's what that means. Anyway, sorry for going on a rant. I guess I guess we could add this to the pointless rant series, but I feel like this would do better as a miscellaneous video. And so that's what it's gonna be. This is gonna be a miscellaneous video. But 
sorry, sorry. Uh, all in all, this uh, what Ro Rovio did for Pride Month was just honestly terrible, and I think they should never do something like that again. And and one one more thing, we haven't seen Joe. Where is Joe? They made Joe as a non-binary bird. You know, I'll, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. Yeah, so look. Oh, come on. Sometime today. Yeah, so look. They made Joe as a non-binary bird. Right? They even made a classic... They made a classic design for it. They made it a spell in Angry Birds 2 for like... They made it a Golden Duck reskin. And this was a year ago. This was 2023. They made Joe as a non-binary bird for Pride Month. That was fine. But the fact that they never did anything with it this year. And, and, and you were even mention it in general. They didn't even mention Joe. They completely forgot they existed. They completely forgot Joe even existed. And that it just makes it obvious that they didn't... That they made Joe because... It was because of a... It was basically just their, their Pride Month thing for the year. They didn't make it because they actually cared. They made it because they felt like they had to. And that, I find, just kind of fucked up. If, if you're really going to make something like that, if you're going to make a political statement like that, and nobody seems to mind, at least stand by it. <laughs> I, I, I think that... Just the fact that they they do all these things and then just completely forget about them it just makes it even more obvious that they're not doing it because they actually care. And honestly, I think I don't think any company really cares. They just do Pride Month because they feel like they have to. And companies, most companies, do DEI because they feel like they have to. <coughs> Disney, sorry, what? I didn't say that. Disney can go fuck itself. Let me just say. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just, that's honestly really all I had to say on this. It was just really fucked up that they did this, in my opinion. Like, sure, it sounds all great, and I, I sound like a piece of garbage for saying it. I sound like a piece of shit, but I'm fucking angry. And clearly everybody else is. Look at the comments on all of these Pride Month posts, and you'll see a lot of people are pissed off about it. But nobody's talking about the fact that these community posts are directed towards children. They were directed towards children. Children will be seeing this and go, Mommy? Daddy? What's a bear? Well, son, a bear is an animal you find in the wild. No, Daddy, not that kind of bear. A, 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 that bear. And then he shows them a community post. Oh, uh, and, and and he's kind of backed into a corner because then he has to explain what the fuck a bear is, and then he has to say, uh, well, little Timmy, a bear is a really fat, hairy, big man, and then and then the kid's gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, but yeah, this was a completely unorganized rant, but I just feel like I had to give my two cents on it, especially a part that nobody else was mentioning, because, I mean, look at this, and, and if Rovio does something like this next year for Pride Month, I will do the exact same thing that I'm doing here, and I will make a, how, how long has this been, like 20 minutes, 20 minute rant about it, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna rant about it. Because it pisses me off. You could do whatever you want. You could be gay, you could be trans, whatever. You could just leave the fucking kids out of it. And then you, and you bring your kids to the fucking pride parades with, like, I don't know, naked old men under the guise of, oh, we're being inclusive. No, you're just, you're an old guy showing a child your dick.
and again, when you force this ideology onto a kid at such a young age, then they make choices that they really shouldn't, and they end up th th ruining their lives later on down the road. But, it's not my problem. It's not my problem. It's, it's the problem of the parents that let their kids look at this shit. And force their ideology down their throat. It's gonna come back to bite them in the ass. It will. Trust me. But yeah, anyway. Um, thank you for watching if you did watch this entire 20 minute ish, probably, rant video. Um, I will not be making many of these in the future. And again, if Rovio does this again, I absolutely will. But. Yeah, it just, this just pisses me off. Whatever. Um. See so, ya. Yeah.